Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Thursday, June the 30th, 2016. You're looking at a chart of the Dow Jones futures contract. It should be noted that since the Brexit, this market dropped 1,064 points. Since that drop, this market has recovered 867 of those 1,064 points. With just 197 more points to go, can the Dow Jones erase all of the Brexit losses? That is going to be the case to see. 197 points is all it needs tomorrow. And if it closes basically above 200 points, then it will have erased all of the losses and changed its overall picture to a from a negative pulse wave scenario to a positive pulse wave scenario this will be interesting to see as the market is still in an overall bullish position but with bearish overtones it's showing that it's basically topped out and what we could have here is the makings of a really massive downtrend as you can see here is the bottom of the trend line here and you can see this one here is developing on the top end of it but it's a wide channel that will be going down a wide channel the wider the channel the longer the downtrend will come just like you had here you know back in the, the end of uh, last year the beginning of this year this is setting up to look just like that all over again so it's looking very toppy very double toppy right now uh, the market does need to close above 17916 and I don't know if it's gonna have enough in it to do it especially on tomorrow it's possible it could do it it's been averaging about 200 points a day can it do it we'll see um, let's look at the dollar all right looking at the dollar index as you can see really not a whole a lot going on here overbought picture uh, and technically speaking it's inside the Kumo cloud but it's hitting a lot of resistance around this uh, 96 level so what it's looking like is that we're going to resume the downtrend sometime soon here as this up surge is weakening overall it's still in a positive pulse wave but it's weakening and it's overbought so this one's going to be interesting to watch going in the next week as well all right here is the crude oil same sort of a setup topping out up here at this fifty dollars it seems to be having a hard time breaking through that still in a positive pulse wave but it's in danger of uh, of losing this uptrend momentum's pointing up but if this market uh, takes out 44.53 uh, going into next week, then that's it's gonna be a wrap. All right, looking at the uh, at the um, the ETF for the crude oil, you can see here uh, this one has already started a negative post wave position already, so this one could be leading the future, so to speak. Very interesting how this is setting up. Uh, it, it's coming into a, a somewhat muted positive momentum but this one's looking like it's about to turn over and turn over hard so could this be a precursor to what's going to happen in the oil going into next week here's another popular oil counterpart the UCO same thing negative pulse wave uh, position right now and um, this is just not a buying candidate at all right here unless it can break out above 15 all right, now looking at your gold futures, you can see this is in a positive pulse wave situation, and the market does want to go higher and test 1350. 1350 should be in play between now and maybe the middle of next week, but we'll give it to next Friday. Just see if this market can lock in as it's attempting to do here and push higher, even though it's been somewhat muted the last couple of days. And the winner is silver. Silver has locked in on a bull trend and is really powering up here. It's um, heading toward our, our initial target 
of 20 to 22 and it's it's really powering up it's really showing off it really shows that it wants to do something positive pulse, pulse wave scenario with strong support around the $16 handle looking at SLV following suit strong support at the $15 handle and it is breaking out lovely too doing so on some pretty good volume and you're locking in on your uptrend as well target for this one is around 20 looking at around 20 um, somewhere between 19 and 20 all right looking at GLD GLD similar situation as with the gold futures muted and the target on this one is around 129 130 for right now we'll see if we can do it but same overall uh, chart pattern and position strong support at the 116 level looking at Facebook Facebook is come off as you can see and now this week marks the beginning of a negative pulse wave is this going to continue to next is this setting up for a major crash next week this one is rather alarming look at it this one even though you have strong support at the trend line at 103.89 the fact that this is setting up right here right now could be troubling uh, for this particular stock all right, looking at Amazon. Amazon is getting dangerously close to looking like Facebook, looking like say, like it wants to go in the correction. Got a positive momentum, positive pulse wave, but slowing down, moving sideways. And this one, you know, it, it's innocent to proven guilty, but you do have strong support here at uh, 663 and at 590. All right, looking now at Apple. Apple is going nowhere fast it's just consolidated here underneath the Kumo cloud negative pulse wave position overall and one can make the case that it's setting up for a possible short uh, for next week and I don't see any real support uh, you have a soft support at um, at the $89 price level all right okay looking at Netflix Netflix right here uh, same situation uh, it's in a negative pulse wave and it's just moving sideways right now and it did take out support on a spike but not a close as you can see here so $85 is trying to hold as a support we'll see if it can do it um, but then you have another poss possibility of taking out that 84 81 level this is going to be very interesting uh, momentum's trying to come up here but again looks like it's setting up for another leg down next week I right, looking at Google it's the same thing Google right now is in a negative pulse wave situation but it's just the beginning and it's looking like it wants to get deeper into the Kumo cloud here even though your momentum is pointing up for the week looks like it's setting up for a short next week as well so overall the markets are looking toppy and we'll see what can happen uh, tomorrow um, it's Friday as, as you know it's the uh, last trading day of the week uh, ahead of a three-day weekend Monday's a holiday with the 4th of July so markets will be closed <coughs> excuse me short trading week the one thing that uh, bodes well for the markets is that usually um, you know short and tr short short well, shortened trading weeks normally can be quiet with a little and with a possible upsurge so we'll see uh, the markets may be able to hang in there one more week, but it is looking toppy, and it's looking like the markets want to uh, want to want to head lower. All right, so remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can, give nothing back, and if you're not making money, you need to fire yourself and hire me. Peace.